I'm gonna try to ride on one of these city bus bus things. I think that's what these people over here are waiting for. I'm not really sure how you do it, but we'll figure it out. So these people, I think, or this lady, I believe, is standing here waiting for the bus, but I'm not sure. See what they say when I get on, if they say anything, or I'll try to watch what the other people do. Now, this, these, these buses appear to be pretty cool. I think we'll get on the next bus. Maybe try this, maybe try this bus. So these things are taxis uh, right here. So you can take these. I'm not sure exactly how it works. Seem to be. Uh... All right, well, I'm just gonna walk around and I'll include you guys in anything interesting you might see. Um, it's all new to me, so just uh, no idea. But I do need to find a pair of sunglasses at some point. The clouds came out, which is nice. Um, very nice. The clouds came out. About the same temperature here as in Thailand right now, but uh, a little more humid here, it feels like. Filipino is definitely very, very friendly, Ever all of them I've met so far. Seven Elevens everywhere, just like Thailand. It's nice. Maybe not quite as many as Thailand, but now nice. some pretty good-looking fried chicken right there. This looks like a cool street. We'll walk down here. The traffic drives the same way as America, opposite Thailand. So you want to. Whenever you're switching countries, left side, right side, drive, especially when you're walking around, you want to make sure that you remember what side it is. You know, when you've been in the same country for a long time, they drive one way, the other way, it's kind of hard to get, flip it back and forth. But, but we'll see what we can do.
Shit, you gotta be careful right there, they're doing some, uh, some welding. And some welding right there, but be careful. Okay, so we're on Borrow Sun. That's where we're at. We're gonna have to look around. We're gonna have to get some food at some point. Yeah, a lot of little shops like Thailand. Plenty of supplies everywhere. We are gonna take one of these taxis and see kind of how that works. But definitely decent little accommodations. Gotta get something to eat. The snack kitchen here smells really good. It smells really, really, really good. I'm not sure. Maybe come back here later. By the way, they do have grab food here and grab uh, taxis. So far, when I've requested one, I've been unable to get a grab taxi. Um, but they do. They do have it. They're having elections coming up here soon in the Philippines. Gas prices have gone up a lot in the Philippines, so everyone is talking about it. I guess they've pretty much doubled. Yeah, those little taxis are pretty good, they're pretty good. Oh yeah, let's maybe pop on a taxi, we'll go to a, another little area. Maybe we'll get on one of these, we'll go to uh, somewhere else. So we'll jump on this taxi and we'll go to another, another area. Now we've got this taxi situation dialed in. Yeah, not a bad way to get around. They, they stuff you in there like sardines, but... That's no different than the Bob bus, really. A little bit bigger than the Bob bus. A little bit bigger, but not a bad way to travel. 10 pesos, whatever that is. Right now, I, um, I need some sunglasses. So I'm gonna go check out a, it's supposed to be a pretty big uh, market they have here in the, in the Philippines. 
figure a good uh, good reason to kind of do some exploring. I'm nine kilometers away from there, so we'll try to navigate that on the bus and uh, see what happens. I'll see. So like in Thailand, when the bot bus is parked here, I know these are different. That means they're just gonna sit here and wait until this thing's stacked full, can't fit anything on there. So I'm gonna attempt to walk past the bot bus or whatever these things are called, and then we're gonna try to catch one down here and see if it's the same as Thailand, where you walk a little bit, you can just get on whatever one you want coming by. We'll find out. So I'll get up here a little bit and then I'll try to flag one down. That way I don't have to wait. Same as Thailand, at least from what I can tell, the, they do uh, they keep the roads fairly fairly nice. Like in a lot of Western countries, the roads aren't that great. Uh, maybe because the uh, the sheer cost. You know, if you're gonna do like a road improvement in America, you're gonna have to do all kinds of engineering, all kinds of crazy crazy stuff, all kinds of environmental studies, all kinds of things. You know, in Southeast Asia, you just kind of put the road in. So it probably is a huge savings, not to mention labor is a hell of a lot cheaper. But Let's see if this guy will stop or not. I'm not sure. Yeah, he did, so it's the same same. Okay, cool. here are 50 pesos. That's extremely cheap. Let's go up there and try to take that train. 
try to figure out how the transportation works. Yeah, what the hell? Let's, uh, let's take the train. Let's see what that. Uh, what, how, figure out how to do it. Might as well figure it out now. Okay, so we we'll take this train. I know we want to go that way. ways to travel so this might be the best bet. It's always tough like that's one thing when you if you're on like a holiday and you come somewhere um, you know you probably just maybe just taxi stuff like that because it takes a while to figure out the public transportation but you got to do like a security check. <coughs> okay so put our bag in here. Okay, so that was very cheap, uh, 20 pesos, and I got a, a single journey ticket. I'm going quite a ways, so that's that's very reasonable. That's about the same price as the little car things, bot buses, so that's pretty good. Okay, so... So, I, there's some situation, uh, so you can't stand over over by that front gate that's for certain certain passengers only so you have to stand over here that's interesting We should be pretty close to that market, so we'll go see what, it, what we can find. All right, we're gonna try this thing. You drive safe? You drive yes. safe? <laughs> My passenger say, you are a good service. Okay, good, good, good. If you don't ride safe, your passenger is angry to you. Yeah, yeah. People will, people will ride because of you. Yes, yes. This is my guide. This is us. Ah. All right, we're going to go to the market, try not to get killed. Thank you. I am a 
So now we're at uh, Quinta Quinta Market. Um, I really don't need anything. I need to get some sunglasses. So I'm hoping we can find some. Oh, lots of good fruit. You know, the oranges look really nice here in the Philippines. I gotta get some of those. They seem to have pretty, pretty, pretty nice oranges. Get some take home for later. Similar to like uh, the markets in Thailand, except I do notice the, the oranges. So I gotta try them, but the oranges here seem to be a little bit more on point. They're kind of getting out of season right now in Thailand. I really like oranges, but it's gonna start raining. So I'm trying to find where like the clothing section would be. Maybe we get, oh, right here. Maybe we can go in here. That's like gifts and beads. Similar smells to like Thai markets. Oh, those are good looking carrots. Thailand's got good looking carrots also. Oh, I've never seen those. I'm always. <laughs> oh wow, those are nice looking also. So it looks like to be more of like a like a Christian and like Buddhist country compared to Thailand. So far, absolutely no, no sunglasses. But the sun's not out right now. We'll find some before the sun comes back, I'm sure. But a lot of oranges. Definitely gonna get some of some of those oranges in my backpack before I leave. We try this shop. Maybe they'll have sunglasses. Oh wait, there's some shops down here. Cool. Okay, this is more clothes, clothes shop. All right, I think we can find some. Let's keep walking around. Okay, got some sunglasses, 50 pesos. 
That's exactly what I, what I wanted, but just mainly just trying to cover my eye. Yeah, oranges look very, very, very good. Very, very, very good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I bought a few of those. I don't know what they taste like, but boy, they look really good and they feel very nice too. And they smell really good also. I'm gonna have it when I get home. My hands are dirty. But, um, yeah, those look good. I'm excited about that, but. Okay, so we got glasses, oranges. That's all I need. I can't, I can't be carrying much stuff. I only got a backpack. So, yeah, I probably should just keep on, keep on mobbing. We're, I'm not sure where we are. We're just gonna keep walking around. Wait, I do know where we are. We're at the uh, Guapo Market. So I think it's about time to probably find something to eat. Oh, well, here's some kind of a bus. of the Philippine Islands. It's kind of a cool building. Okay, so we came across that bridge, right? So we can go back across that bridge. But first I'm gonna get on, I'm gonna look and see, uh, look and see what, uh, what else there is to, to go do. We're gonna go out at night also. That's really more, gonna be more interesting, but. I want to still look around and get the transportation situation dialed in. Probably easiest to get a taxi over here. So these things are similar to like the tuk-tuk in Thailand. Similar to like a tuk-tuk. She's got some good looking corn right there. Oh shit, this taxi broke down. Doing a roadside repair. It is for a haircut here. It's probably similar to Thailand. Probably depends on where you go. Thank you. 
They're definitely, one thing I noticed, they're definitely fucking, they're strapped at the banks here. Everyone's... They all got shotguns. Seems like all the banks, they carry shotguns. All the banks strap shotguns. Probably a deterrent. Like, uh, maybe I want to rob that bank, but uh, there's a dude out there with a shotgun. Gonna have to shoot him right away. That's actually the bad thing. Like if you if you work at a bank here in Manila, and you you know you're one of those dudes that has to stand out here with a shotgun, you know if somebody is gonna rob that bank immediately, they're gonna take out that guy immediately. You know he's not even gonna see it coming. So it's actually a pretty dangerous job probably, because you are the number one target. They're not gonna waste their time. You know, oh put your hands up or whatnot. Now they're just gonna take you out. But it probably rarely, rarely ever happens. It's no different than like a bank in America. You know, some of the banks got armed guards too, and they're the first target. Look at this, this is cool. All these countries have really cool cars. Different cars that are cool, it's just, it's just pretty cool. Huh. Uh, maybe this is some kind of a Chinatown up here. I'm not sure. Maybe not.
You know what? I think I'm gonna get on one of these buses. It's probably a good idea to get on one of these uh, these buses. Get back on one of these, head to a different area, see where this thing goes.
Philippines, in some ways, at least Manila, some of these areas, remind me a lot, quite a bit actually of Portland, Oregon. Except Portland's a little bit, little, little bit more, uh, more. Actually, I better not say that. Well, maybe we'll add that to the vlog after out. So this seems to be like a little bit of a jewelry, jewelry area. A lot of jewelry shops right here. Yeah, we'll take a look down here. This looks kind of interesting. Yeah, lots of jewelry shops. Yeah, Manila is definitely a lot to take in, a lot of big, big, big place. But I'm trying to do as much exploring as I can for the limited time that, that we have. Hello. Yeah, but this whole street just seems like uh, watches. Watch his jewelry. look really nice. I already got oranges in my backpack. You can't really put mangoes. Well, I guess I could, but I don't know when I'm going to be home. I got, I got enough fruit for tonight. I'll get some fruit tomorrow. Those look like mangoes, but they're smaller, and they they say tompak. Must be the same thing, but they definitely are smaller than Thailand mangoes. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of an interesting area. See, so like you hop on one of those those buses. I mean, obviously not the most fun thing to, to, to ride in. But, you know, kind of, it's okay. It's not too bad at all. It'd almost be better if they did more, a little bit less so the, the guardrails open them up a little bit more because they're extremely, extremely hot in there. Very, very, very hot. But it's still a pretty cool design. Yeah, it feels good to be in a new city for a little bit. I'm gonna see as much as we can while we're here. <clears throat> yeah, so this is like the Chinatown area. It's gotta be. Wow, this is cool also. Who is this? Oh, that is sweet. Whatever that is, that is really cool. Yeah, I actually like this little kind of market street a little bit better than that the last one I was at it's 
So we're on the corner of On Pin Street. On Pin Street. On Pin Street. And Bahamas Street. On Pin Street and, and On Pin Street and Bahamas Street. <laughs> 